Good morning, you guys. Today is the first day of bar prep. Um, and of course, the day that I start bar prep, they start construction outside my house. So later on today, I will be making a call um, about potentially getting an office space during this time until I'm able to go back to school and like study. But today is the first day of bar prep. I'm gonna like show you guys how they have it broken down because it's kind of like crazy. Um, but anyway, I took care of my dogs this morning. Hi! Took care of my dogs this morning, worked out, um, got ready. So now I'm about to make a coffee, make breakfast, and get started. So I just wanted to start a vlog, so just vlogging. You guys hear that? Yeah, that's the kind of look I have. But I just want to get started and kind of show you guys a little bit about just kind of like how my first day of studying for the bar exam goes. So. So I'm making my breakfast. For breakfast, I'm just eating oatmeal. Um, and then I'm making coffee. So I'm going to go um, and eat it in my room and take my vitamins. Um, and I thought it would be smart for me to kind of like plan out my meals in my head before it's time to eat them. So I don't have to like take so much time like thinking about what I'm going to eat. So I'm going to eat this for breakfast. And then for like a snack, I'm going to eat grapes. And then my mom actually made me food for lunch and dinner she made like jambalaya like macaroni and cheese and like a lot of good stuff so i think i'm gonna eat like jambalaya and it's so it's so good you guys i wish you guys could try it maybe one day but yeah i just want to like pre-think those things so that it is un it's not like an unnecessary uh thought because like for me when it comes to like food i'll take forever trying to like go back and forth with myself about what I want to eat and it really should not be that big of a deal not now anyway so we have oatmeal oatmeal just doesn't look that aesthetically pleasing but hi Dwight this is what we have okay I'm gonna have to go back and get my coffee so I'll be right back okay you guys so I'm about to log on to my bar prep as I told you guys in previous videos, I am using Barbary for my bar prep. But what is so different is that because we got the bar exam um, pushed until September, as opposed to like a more extensive list of assignments that people would get um, in traditional bar prep, they have like our schedule set up so that we only are studying for four hours a day. And for me, that's just absurd. So I actually will be calling some of my like closest friends today to just get some insight on how I should supplement that or if they think I should. But I do understand their rationale is just the fact that we'll be studying for so much longer. So they don't want us to kind of like burn out. But I don't really know. It just seems like really, 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 really weird. But I do want to show you guys that today... Well, I can actually show you guys it later. But yeah, so I'll show you guys kind of like what the system looks like. And yeah, so they want us studying 4.2 hours a day. Like, what does that even mean? I don't really know. But I'll show you guys. It says the estimated average hours per day in order to complete your personal study plan prior to the bar examination is 4.2 hours. Um, I've already completed a total of 8.7 hours. Um, I've worked zero hours today and there are a hundred days until the bar exam. So they also have a quote every day that you log on. Today's quote says, the fruit of your own hard work is the sweetest. And we're going to get started right now. So I'll come and talk with you guys whenever I take a break. Uh, give you guys some details. I also got an Amazon package, which are just some like bar prep supplies. So I'll show you guys that a little bit later. But yeah, wish me luck. Talk all day and the night on the deep Stimulate me I want your mental and physically I belong to you 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 
Hey guys, so of course I'm studying, um, but because I don't plan on vlogging every day during bar prep, not even almost, like not even close to that, I want to kind of show you guys as much as I can during this vlog. So over the past weekend in preparation for bar prep, I did a lot of things that would I hope make my process easier. So I want to share some of that stuff with you throughout this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm actually going to show you guys um, like a data sheet of a bunch of different sheets that I created in an effort to help me track my progress during bar prep i um, mean this is something that i think could be really helpful so stay tuned for that later on in the vlog but right now what i want to show you guys as you guys just saw i just organized my materials into my binders and these were like the notes that i took during pre-bar prep so i just wanted to put them in the binder hole punch them put page flags for each subject um and i also just printed um my overview for real property so real property is the first subject that we're learning in bar prep so they give us an overview of the main topics that are tested. So I printed that so that I can take notes on separate sheets of paper, but also just have that as just something to look to for like the big ticket items. So this is it. Um, of course, I printed it on both sides because we want to be resourceful. But I do say that if you're studying for the bar prep, bar prep, what? If you're studying for the bar in the future or even now, it might be worth the investment to buy your own printer thankfully i have a printer already because of my business um but before like my business i would just print at school but now since we're all at home um i think it's just very useful to have a printer like of your own like a nice quality printer that you can print as much as you need to and you can find some really inexpensive printers so yeah I wanted to show you guys really quickly um, one of my deliveries from Amazon, which is just more bar prep materials. I showed like a screenshot of this during my bar prep haul, but I wasn't able to show you guys it because it hadn't arrived yet. But I just ordered a pack of sticky notes and it's just six colorful, like neon colored sticky notes. I also ordered some more page flags because these are really essential, especially when you want to just um, draw your attention back to an important, an important part um, of like your reading or whatever. So these are like the double sided page flags and you can write on these. Um, I also bought the like page markers. I mean, these ones you can specifically write on. Um, like it's very easy to write on these. Like you can see here, if you can look, it says um, important. So somebody used one of the flags. Um, in the book to write important but this can just be really helpful just to write like little notes to yourself if you don't want to put a full sticky note so i just wanted to just make sure i have these on hand um like just throughout the 100 days that i'm studying for bar exam um and then next i just got this little assortment of paper clips rubber bands and like binder clips um, and I thought this would be really like helpful. I realized that the stapler that I have, I didn't buy another stapler because I found my stapler from when I was president of my sorority in college. And I was like, oh, I can just use this, but it's kind of jammed. So I probably will need to buy another stapler, but I can hold off on that because I could always use just like paper clips in the meantime. So these are just some other essentials. And I, my mom actually bought me this little bin. I think I'm gonna use it. So my mom bought me this little bin from Target uh, and she filled it up. I showed it in the last vlog. She filled it up with uh, my graduation gifts, like little fun things for me to have during bar prep and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to just use this to put like all of my hi supplies and stuff inside of here and kind of like keep it under the table. Camera ran out of memory at the perfect time. Good job, camera. But anyway, she got me this bin and it's so cute. This little cute bin. I should take this off. Little cute bin from Target. Um, and she filled it up with stuff. And I think this would just be a good thing for me to like keep my supplies and stuff in. Easily accessible because my desk is kind of small. And of course I have the two little desk areas now. But I don't want it to be all cluttered. So just kind of putting this like near my desk on the floor with like all of these important little supplies and stuff in it. I just unpacked my colorful pins and put them in here there's also some like essential oil in here earplugs and like other like little supplies so i can keep this in there um put these in there and just kind of have that near me but those are the things that i actually got from amazon that finally arrived um so i'm going to just get back to studying but 
make sure you guys stay tuned because i really do have something super cool to show you guys which is my planning schedule i spent like three to four hours planning out how i want to organize all my stuff during bar prep one of the biggest things that a lot of my friends and classmates told me like those who already took the bar is that it's a lot of stuff to organize and just a lot of material and that can make it overwhelming in itself so because i kind of had that input before i started i spent a lot of time trying to come up with the best schedule to analyze first of all my progress um the data that i I am accumulating because at the end of the day this is the data and that is what I can thank my business school mind for because in business school I learned the importance of gathering information gathering data and using it to your benefit so I really want to track my progress in terms of how I do with my essays how I'm doing with my multiple choice what areas um, do I need to work on what areas am I doing well on like just things like that so I'll show you guys all of the charts additionally I want to kind of track like what have I worked on what have I reviewed what have I not reviewed where are my strong points where are my weak points so I have so many different charts and things like that that I'll be showing you you guys later on this evening once I'm done studying and stuff like that so keep it locked because you guys can really probably benefit from this I'm not gonna give like no like an Excel tutorial tutorial because I did make this in Excel but there are so many like different Excel tutorials on um, YouTube and stuff like that I'll show you guys kind of like just like the basics of what it looks like but it's not too complex or anything like that so stay tuned but I'm gonna get back to studying and we'll chat later So before I end this vlog, I just want to show you guys the documents that I told you guys about. I got these ideas from so many of the sample schedules that I reviewed. So this is just kind of what I came up with based off of all of the great things I found from these sample materials. So I created these documents in Excel and uploaded them to Google Docs. I got inspiration from so many different articles and different samples and templates. And this is kind of what I came up with to track my progress. The first thing is a daily schedule where I plan to write out everything that I need to get done that day. The next thing is like a calendar function where I write out how many days I have until the exam. And here I focus on what subjects I cover for each day, what topics, what assignments I've done, any comments I have, and how long I've worked on it. Another cool thing that I added is a subject tracker. And I actually found this in one of the sample schedules I reviewed. And I thought it was a really good idea for me to see the last time I studied for each subject. So that as I go through bar prep and I start reviewing everything, I can be mindful of how long it's been since I studied one of the topics. Next, I have a document to track all of the essays and performance tests that I do. So we do have to complete a lot of sample essays. And I think it's just really important for me to know which ones I've completed. Um, so here I just have what was tested, what year that test was administered, and that is just another thing that I want to be able to keep track of. The next is the multiple choice, also known as the MBE, points to review. So I want to be mindful of what points I need to review, what areas of the law I need more work on. So I have two different documents designed to track my MBE process. I want to make sure that I complete 30 to 50 multiple choice a day. So here is a document where I place how many multiple choice I've completed, what subjects, how many I've gotten wrong, how many I've gotten correct, just to keep me on track and make sure that I am achieving that 